the week. Introducing his tag team partner. Because Jeff Bailey, Jeff G. Bailey, got a restraining order on Cut Lashley. that music off! Cut that music! Security, you make sure he doesn't show his face in here. He is not allowed to be within 50 feet of Adam Jacobs. Jeff He's Bailey. He's not going to be here. Jeff Bailey has utilized that restraining order and told security, the NCW crack security squad, to get backstage to keep Laz away from the ring. Hold and up. Five seconds. It doesn't appear you have a tag team partner. The CEO, Jeff G. Bailey, is giving you the opportunity to forfeit this match now. What do you say? Todd Sexton is hardly one to forfeit an opportunity. So I think there is the answer. Todd Sexton zooms in for a quick pin attempt and all that Adam Jacobs. And Todd Sexton, a one-man tag team on his own. Taken out cross and Jacobs in the attempt. But the fact remains, Todd Sexton is out here on his lonesome. The security staff making sure Laz is nowhere in sight. That restraining order is kicking in and Jeff Bailey is going to make sure it's intact. Hip toss block, reversal counter, standing switch by Adam Jacobs into a waist lock. Todd Sexton grabs the ropes, Jacobs off, kicks to the midsection. Irish whip, reversal into the ropes. Adam Jacobs comes off, goes for a back body wrap, lands on his feet. Spinning kick to the side of the head by Todd Sexton. All that Adam Jacobs kicks out, but he certainly got his bell rung. No kidding, the legs of Todd Sexton. Boy, I mean, he relies so much on the power of those legs for the arsenal of TNT. Of course, he's been without his tag team partner, Tony battling for quite a number of weeks right now. I haven't got an update on the condition of Tony of recent weeks. I'm hopefully he's on the way. Of course, he's been without his tag team partner. Tony's battling for quite a number of weeks right now. I haven't got an update on the condition of Tony of recent weeks. I'm hopefully he's on the way back, but don't, don't rightly know. But Todd is on his own this evening. Last, obviously, nowhere in sight. Tony Straddle is suffering from a ruptured AC joint, acromoclaviaclear, in medical terms. Um, in his left shoulder, and, and he's, he's been out of action for quite a while, and we don't know really when he's coming back, although doctors are giving his, uh, his return date soon enough. Perhaps you'll find out some latest goings on on the condition of Tony Stradlin by calling, if you're up in the Atlanta area, by dialing 511 and then 6291 for Tim Dix's hotline, the Wild Side Hotline. German suplex only got a two count. There is Todd Sexton, very courageous going at this matchup by himself. I guess two of the best athletes in the game today. The role model, Jason Cross, all that Adam Jacob. Oh, is it courageous or is it a little silly? Fisherman's Buster by all that Adam Jacob. A kick out from one half of TNT. But one half does not a tag team make. Yeah. Well, you got that right. Now, we've seen like a Jimmy Ray being involved in all sorts of situations where the, the odds are totally against him, and I think Todd Sexton is falling to that trap right now. I mean, his pride and his heart, shall we, shall we say, are, I think are getting the best of him right now, and I think he's going to pay the price. Jason Cross squishing the head of Todd Sexton like a grape beneath his boot. The main event this week on NWA Wildside. Boy, this is one I'm so looking forward to. AJ Styles is, will be defending the world Wildside title, the Wildside title against David Young, the man who was integral in the helping AJ Styles defeat Rick Michaels to win that Wildside title at Christmas Chaos 2001. And wrestling fans, you talk about a wrestling classic. Don't go anywhere. That is going to air your main event this hour of Wildside. Pure wrestling, no chicanery, no pomp and circumstance. Wrestling at its best in your main event for the Wild Side Heavyweight Championship right now. you got a two-on-one altercation. Laz was supposed to be the tag team partner of Todd Sexton. Due to the results of the last Adam Jacob match at Friday Night 2001, there's been a restraining order put on Laz. He can't come within 50 feet of Jacob. He's enforcing that tonight. Big superplex. But all that Adam Jacob, Todd Sexton kicks out. However, restraining orders don't seem to really bother somebody like Laz. However, when you have all the entire security squad here at the NCW Arena going in on Laz, I guess um, if they were successful in keeping Laz away from Bailey and crew. Adam takes his little abdominal stretch on the ground there on the Todd Sexton. However, we're going to take a quick break. We'll, be more, we'll see more of this exciting tag team matchup coming up right after this. 
Okay, we're back. I'm Dan the Dragon Wilson along with Stephen Brazak. This is NWA Wild Side. We got a two-on-one altercation here. Suicidal tendencies comprising this time of all that Adam Jacobs and the role model Jason Cross against Todd Section, whose tag team partner was supposed to be last, but due to restraining order, they couldn't make it. Fox splash by Adam Jacobs. And for the folks who are wondering, hearing the name Suicidal Tendencies for the first time in a long, long time at Christmas Chaos, we saw the return of Air Paris reuniting Suicidal Tendencies, but still, unfortunately, under the camp of Jeff G. Bailey, our esteemed CEO. Two down only. Jason Croft not allowing the pin. Feeling that this is two against one, three against one if you count Jeff Bailey. Take one. Oh, no. Jackson with a reversal went for a drop kick, but a cross up. That is deep face shot. Shooting star press. Of the running variety. Todd Sexton kicks out. And he manages to kick out again. What a series of pin attempts from Jason Cross. Maybe he shouldn't have picked up Sexton earlier on. And Sexton being thrown through the ropes. Oh, now all that Adam Jacobs are putting the boots, and Bailey is as well. Literally three against one. Todd, uh, Todd Sexton's getting it handed to him tonight. Poor Todd Sexton, the odds are truly stacked against him. And I, I, I feel a little sorry for Todd Sexton, but only to a certain degree. I mean, he agreed to this match. He should know what's, what's, what's awaiting him, you know? He could have forfeited, but that's not him at all. His trainer, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, did not instill that in him. He instilled the heart, he instilled guts, he instilled the intestinal fortitude, and the will to continue. To continue even when the odds are stacked against you, and they certainly are. Against the NWA Elite Suicidal Tendencies and Jeff G. Bailey, and they certainly are. Against two of the top athletes in the world today, but Todd Sexton will not back down from anything. No, that's definitely not his modus operandi. And Sataz on top of Jacobs for a quick pin. Ah, still not enough for that elusive three. Ooh, big super kick from all that Adam Jacobs. Well, Jeff G. Bailey is certainly happy with the way things are progressing in this now handicapped tag match. Jeff likes to win a handicap, you know that. Hot sex and he's in a lot of trouble. Slams the head onto the top turnbuckle. Reversal by Sexton. Oh, but Adam Jacobs gets a boot right to the face. There he goes for the big swinging neck breaker by Sexton. Reversal. Go to the right suplex. Good Lord. It's Tony Stradlin. Tony Stradlin has run to ringside. I, I don't think he's been cleared by the doctors to be here. At least I haven't been given any word of that. Tony Stradlin, the tag team partner of Tony, of Todd Sexton, one half of TNT. TNT is back here tonight. But what shape is Tony Stradlin in right now? Todd Sexton's not in very good shape, that's for sure. Does Todd Sexton even know that his partner is back intact? Or so we assume? A swipe from Jason Cross onto the returning Tony Stradlin. What are you doing here, Todd? Tony Stradlin's not even in his wrestling gear. He saw his tag team partner, and more importantly, his best friend, the man he trained with, right there in the middle of the ring, getting his ass handed to him. Oh, brain buster by Jason Cross. Jason Cross flexing for Tony Stradlin. Tony Stradlin, of course, has that injured shoulder. And, and I know for a fact the doctors haven't cleared him to wrestle. It's gotta be against his better judgment being out here, but sometimes when you gotta fight, you gotta fight. I know, but I swear, no one here at Wildside like, listens to a damn thing doctors say. That's for, that's for sure. And Jacobs comes charging it. Once again, not sure if Todd Sexton even realizes that he has his own tag team partner awaiting in the wings right here in the corner for a tag. If Stratton's capable of doing this, I'm not quite sure, but Todd Sexton needs help, and he needs it now. And I'm taking comes in, oh, baseball slide, drop kick to the face of Todd Sexton. And Bailey deciding for a conference call with uh, Andrew Thomas, how convenient. Sexton gets a leg and up bottom rope. Tony is cheering on his partner. 
I'm sure Todd will certainly welcome that. Juggalot close to a very sick close line. Very good Dixon. Todd has to dig down deep for that one. But he's only a few feet away from the tagging hands of his returning tag team partner, Tony Stradlin. Todd, Todd, well, Todd refuses to tag Tony in because he knows about the shoulder. But Todd, ta Tony tags his himself in. He tags his own self in. Tony Stradlin is in the main house of fire. It's not quite what Sexton wanted, but help. You can't stop Tony Stradlin now. I right, respect by Adam Jacob. And he comes back. Fly forearm shot. Well, if there's an injured shoulder on Tony Stradlin, I can't see it. Tony Stradlin up. He's good. They're going to go for the powder kick. They're going to go for the powder kick. Oh, the shoulder came in. The shoulder gave way, the injury. It was too much. Tony Stradlin was not ready to too, come back. Too much, too soon. And Stradlin, oh dear. Oh, Jacob, they're going for that shoulder. They're trying to wrench it out of that socket. Oh, come on, damn it to hell. Sexton is, Sexton is trying to break up this pin. Andrew Thomas refuses to allow Sexton anywhere near. Oh, this is horrible. He's gonna pull his damn shoulder out of his sack and stop the damn match. We're returning Tony Stradlin getting it handed to him way too early. Todd Sexton, not, Todd Sexton actually told referee Andrew Thomas to ring the bell. Sexton asked Andrew Thomas to ring the bell. Tony Stradlin is in a world of hurt fans. We gotta get him out of here. Now Todd Sexton fighting back valiantly, but to no avail, come on! They're going up to the shoulder again. And now Bailey and Cross and Jacobs trying to systematically take out the shoulder of Tony Stratton and Caprice Coleman. Oh, Caprice is here only like a 45 second sooner. Referee Andrew Thomas has stopped the match. The winners, suicidal tendencies. Yeah, we got to get medical out here right now. This is not a good situation at all. I, mean, I can certainly appreciate Tony Stratlin wanting to participate in a match. Oh, you are such a slime ball. Oh, uh, so the camera's not picking up on that. Does suck it. I don't. Dan is having a mother. Uh, hang on, having a bit of a tête-à-tête -tête with the Jeff Bailey leaving ringside, but in the ring, the returning Tony Stratlin coming in way, way too soon. He could not stand on the sidelines and see the punishment that Todd Sexton was standing in literally a handicap tag match. So I can understand Tony's uh, M.O. and you know, his incentive for wanting to get involved here. But he is in no shape to be wrestling the hard-hitting style of TNT. And Jacobs and Bailey and Cross went for that injured shoulder. And this may have taken Stratton out of, out of the game permanently. It may or I, may be able to the last time we will ever see Tony Stratton. The bonds of a best friendship go far beyond the boundaries of a professional wrestling ring. And, good, and good sense sometimes, too. It's instinct, sometimes it's heart, sometimes, like you say, it, it's beyond the boundaries of good sense. Maybe, maybe it was a bad decision. Yes, of course it was. The result is not a good one. Tony Stradlin's going to the hospital, and he may not be coming back, but what a testament to the balls of that man for getting in the ring against doctor's orders, and, and now he's out of action again. Different kind of ball here. We're talking about football. A guy who allegedly scored five touchdowns in a single game. That's Crew Jones. He's coming up next here in Wildside. 